Here we have number 71. Now, this is originally a Galt Union, Joint Union High School bus. It was abandoned out in a field for several years and it got pretty well vandalized. All the windows were broken, virtually all. I think there were two or three left, uh, they, but we replaced just about everything. Um, Registered has a, has a historical bus, so no, no emissions requirements. This is a rear engine crown, 8.3 with an Allison automatic. Uh, you talk about rare, that means all those storage compartments go under the bus like, a, uh, like it was designed to be an RV. That's all those, those openings down there go all the way across the bus. Nice tires. Paint is faded from sitting, but it shines up really beautifully. We shined up a little bit of it on the other side. Back here, and I can't show it to you today. Oh, I can't actually. I'll do it in a separate video though. It's had this back here is the A3. We're in the process of redesigning the cooling system on this bus. It, um, the old fan is hydraulic driven and it doesn't, um, doesn't keep it quite as cool as we want it to. Radiator is good. So we're changing it to an electric thermostatically controlled fan. It's a big project. On this side, oh, you can see the engine through here. It's an A3 hiding in there. There you go. The engine compartment's pretty clean. The bus is clean, it's just faded. Nice driver. Uh, the extra weight in the back makes the front feel a little different from the normal Crown, but um, it handles very well. And the A3 is very quick. A3 is a lot of engine for a bus like this. So uh, we've taken off some of the graffiti. You can see where I took it off back there. I left a little bit of it just for memories. We'll take it off later. The inside, however, is graffiti heaven. Uh, since it's going to be converted, it's not going to be a problem. But the uh, inside, pardon my finger, the inside has definitely been graffitied to death. And that's a shame. The good news is this bus only has 220,000 miles on it. Although the speedometer is going to have to be replaced because it's vandalized. Uh, this bus looks much worse than it drives. The drive of this bus is tight. Solid, clearly a low mileage bus. Good, good runner, smooth shifting automatic. Tracks nice and straight, very low mileage, so no play, no free play in it, no wandering. And uh, the uh, seats before the the uh, bad guys came in here and painted them, seats are really in good shape, most of them. Some of them back here are damaged. Uh, fortunately, the seats will be coming out and it'll be turned into just going to be an RV, so that won't matter. But um, uh, if you don't mind the uh, vandalism and uh, that stuff, this is a great bus. And it's selling for somewhat less than other buses, even though it's as good or better than most of them. So here's the, we have a new, uh, a new uh, um, hatch for it because somebody's stolen the hatch out of the way. This is going to be a great bus. Again, uh, it's a, uh, I believe it's an, an 89, if I'm not mistaken. That's we, it is a... It's an 88, um, and I believe it's a 38 footer. Let's find out. Yeah, 38 foot, 88 Crown rear engine, 8.3 Cummins. Um, and uh, like I said, she's the driver.